<laughs> well, I mean, you might you might be from a UFO, as far as I know. And as, as far as I know, speaking of speaking of UFOs, the term outsider dance was first coined in 2012 by DJ Ben UFO. Nice, along Fucking with music journalist that Scott shit Wilson, like a yeah. knot. <laughs> Rabbit goes through the hole and comes out and a bow is made. Definitely got nothing against the kind of people that are into this music. Like these are like dudes that are way cooler than me. And I don't get it. I don't get their music. I couldn't listen to it very long, but wow. when I see people like this, I can just picture Doc, DJ Ben UFO. And I'm like, man, right on. Right on. I, see, I have a pro- I see you say DJ Ben UFO, and I, 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 my brain just starts with Ben Ten, which is a cartoon okay. character. Oh, actually, not what I pictured. I pictured a guy with a man bun and a lot of tattoos. He's a little nerdy looking British DJ. Nice. So he kind of looks, looks like, like Harry, Moby, the Harry. other famous British DJ. Yeah, like Moby or Harry Potter or something. But or, so when, when he first coined this outsider dance term. He was referring to different producers and record labels that were operating on the fringes of the fringes, such as Laurel Halo, Anthony Naples, and labels including LIES, Opal Tapes, Future Times, nice. 1080p, and Lobster Theremin. Again, nice. kick-ass names. Like I want to, oh, I want to be aware of something called Lobster Theremin. Dude, I'm. We are now aware of so, uh, a label called Lobster Theremin. That's just, you know, that that's just something you should be able to trust. Well, and that's the thing. Once you know these names, I could be on a bus somewhere and some dudes into this. Hey, man, I'm into I'm really into lo-fi house. And I'll be like, Out, outsider house. Oh, yeah, man. Nothing better than lobster theremin. And I'll, I will not know what lobster theremin is, but he'll be like, yo, lobster theremin, bro. That, that's I'm why you don't say theremin. that shit, dude. That's why, yeah. that's why you just don't drop. That's why you don't drop that shit without being able to like say something. Just say, hey, like. What do you listen to? It's like, oh, I'm listening to some shit like lo-fi. Oh shit. I'm very I I I'm not that aware of lo-fi, but what I am aware of is I do enjoy. What do you mean? Well, I, this uh DJ Ben UFO dude. And then you might okay. go, Wow, that's a deep fucking cut. And it's like I got lucky with a Google search. Lobster you know? theremin, bro. Lobster theremin. I don't know what it is, and there's a part of me that doesn't want to look it up because I'd rather let my brain design a The lobsters pee out of their faces. Hi today. Come on, asshole. Lobsters pee out of their faces. It's just a lob it's just a it's just a lobster playing a theremin. That's all these are things these are things you can just check out when you're bored. Starting in 2016, by the way, the genre developed into its other form, known as Lo-Fi House. Producers like DJ Seinfeld, DJ Boring, Ross from Friends, <laughs> and, and Mall Grab, oh. gained, they all gained popularity by combining rough sounds of early outsider dance with the aesthetic of melancholy irony and postmodernism attributed to Vaporwave creating songs resembling melancholic 90s deep house recorded to cassette and packaged with a veneer of internet age irony. Nice. That's all. Those are three sentences that I love. I love that there was DJ boring and yeah. Ross from friends. Like somebody yeah. named himself Ross from friends. That's, yeah. No, no. Like there's some, like, like the best thing about house music my is list. some of the names of the, the bands and the groups and the shit, dude. So my ref, some of the references Wikipedia has on here are, our uh, Rate Your Music, Fact Magazine, A Starter Guide to the Lo-Fi House Scene on Bandcamp Daily. And according to overblown.co.uk, Delroy Edwards went to Cal Arts. He's got an album called Four, the number four, Club Use Only. One of the top five essential outsider house albums. Nice. Man. And you may ask yourself, how did we get here? We talked to Cal, about Cal Arts and Outsider House. Who is this Delroy Edwards you speak of? If he is a musician that is instrumental in house, and he went to Cal Arts. Well, his musical style is known to employ different genres for different releases, including house, techno, chopped and screwed, Memphis rap, 
noise, hardcore, and obscure American garage rock. His music is generally characterized by lo-fi production and tape hiss. So he, yep, he's, he attended Cal Arts to study music, and his real name is Brandon Avery Perlman. He oh. was born March 28, 1990. Oh, son Known of by God. his stage name, Delroy Edwards. Son of Ron Perlman. Oh. He's the son of actor Ron Perlman. Nice. And mother jewelry designer, Opal Stone Perlman. I hope his godfather is Delroy Lindo, and that's why he took the name Delroy. I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to run this by you. A Hobbit core mix. A Hobbit? Hobbit core? core? Hobbit core. What is that? It is a folk fi. It is lo-fi and folk music. This is a thing? Type it in, dude. I thought you were making it up. A lot of people do think I make shit up, but no. I Say it again. Hobbit, Hobbit core. Wh- H O B B I T C O R E. Yep. Cottage, they also call it cottage core. Yup. 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 <laughs> There's even, well, I can't remember the specific rule, but porn. Like hot hobbit chicks. The top hobbit core artists, according to Last FM, are Slaves of Satan. Like that's more detail than I've done. I've my exposure to Hobbit Core is it'll come up and my algorithm will say, Hey, you might like this. And I'll I'll click on it and I'll go, Oh, I'll listen to this for two hours. And that's the one thing is that when we're doing things like this, it totally fucks up my algorithms to everything. Like Oh yeah. At this point, you know, maybe we'll end this. King of the One, Mr. Henny Youngman, to lead the orchestra. 